Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencast, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at the callout command and the reference other view command within Revit 2016. Here I am in a Revit project. If I go to the view tab of the ribbon, create panel, the callout command is, exists here. A callout in Revit is nothing more than an enlarge plan. So for example, if I want to do a blow up of this area here, I can click the callout command by choosing either rectangular or sketch based. I'm going to do rectangular first. Start the command and it's going to ask you to pick two opposing corners. Click, drag, click. You can then move this symbol so that's easy to read, easy to see. The callout is automatically created. The annotation has a blue symbol which means that if you double click it, it takes you to the view. This view is set at 3 8 of an inch, whereas the parent view that you created the annotation from is at 3 16. What that means is that when you create a callout, it is doubled in scale as opposed to the original that you came off of. If I tile the views and look at them, zoom in here, zoom in here. If I select the symbology, I'm actually selecting the crop region of the view. And I can cl click and pull and adjust the annotation which adjusts the crop region. And I can do that over here in the actual view as well. And it will adjust the annotation over here. When you're working with a callout command, that's the first method. The second method is callout where it is sketch based. It goes, everything goes very light and gray. And now it's asking you to draw the magenta lines that represent the outside edges of the custom shape of the callout. For example, say something like this. When you're finished, hit the green check mark. That sketch will be created. This annotation will be created. And you can make the necessary adjustments that you need to make. If I double click it, it will take me to that callout and it looks like so. When you're working with callouts, you can double click the symbology and it goes into sketch mode and you can adjust the sketch work if you need to. That applies to non-rectangular and rectangular annotations, callout annotations. So what I mean by this is if I head over here and scroll down, you see that this is the rectangular one. If I double click it, it goes into sketch mode and I can change the design if, of the shape of this if I need to like that. You'll need to use tools like trim to corner because you need to have one clean loop, no gaps, no overlaps, no straight lines. And then hit the green check mark and it will build the updated symbology for you and it will actually update the view for you as well. So that's the callout command uh, in uh, Revit. The other thing that I wanted to cover was the uh, reference other view. And what we mean by this is if you're using the section command, the callout command, or elevation command, you don't actually have to have the software build the view for you. You can put a check mark for reference other view, and it will link it to a blank drafting view. So I can click and drag and click, and it puts the symbol symbology in there. But more importantly, it puts in the word sim. And you can see this here. What's happening is that it creates a blank drafting view and linking that blank drafting view to that symbol. You can rename this whatever you want. And in this blank view, you can do whatever you want to do. You can use standard 2D detail line commands and draw your work like so. It stays linked. And so if I double click it, it takes you back to that view. And that is the reference other view. Oh, lastly, if you are needing to create a blank drafting view 
and not have it linked to any annotation yet. Maybe you're working with uh, an intern that needs to create a whole bunch of details or something like that, and we'll figure out where the detail goes later. View tab of the ribbon, create panel, drafting view. Give it a name and a scale, which you can change later. Hit OK. Gives you a blank view called drafting one. You can rename it, and you can draw again whatever you need to. And that's it. That is the callout command, reference other view command, and drafting view command within Revit 2016. Thanks for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.